हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल्स ऑन लॉग ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स दिस वीडियो इज कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वेयर आई डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू फाइंड लॉग ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स एंड वेरियस एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन इट लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लेट मी रिकॉल हाउ टू फाइंड लॉग ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स नोट दैट दिस पार्ट इज ऑलरेडी डन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो you can pause the video and revise this now let us proceed with next example here we are asked to simplify log of e raised to i theta plus e raised to i phi so let us proceed with this expression log of e raised to i theta plus e raised to i phi according to euler's formula e raised to i theta can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta and e raised to i phi can be written as cos phi plus i sin phi now let us combine a real parts together and imaginary parts together so we get log of cos theta plus cos phi plus i into sin theta plus sin phi now using trigonometric identities one can write this cos theta plus cos phi as 2 cos theta plus phi by 2 into cos theta minus phi by 2 and sin phi plus sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta plus phi by 2 into cos of theta minus phi by 2 here i see 2 cos theta minus phi by 2 is common in both the terms so let us take it out so inside the bracket we will have cos of theta plus phi by 2 plus i sin theta plus phi by 2 this is like e raised to i theta plus phi by 2 now we have rhs as log of 2 cos theta minus phi by 2 into e raised to i theta plus phi by 2 this is like log of a into b according to log property log of a into b is written as log a plus log b so this can be written as log of 2 cos theta minus phi by 2 plus log of e raised to i theta plus phi by 2 but since this log is with base e log of e raised to i theta plus phi by 2 can be written as just theta plus phi by 2 into i this is simplified form of the given expression log of e raised to i theta plus e raised to i phi i hope guys you understood this part now let's go ahead for next example here given that if i raised to log of 1 plus i is equal to a plus ib then we have to prove one of the value of a is e raised to minus pi square by 8 into cos of pi by 4 into log 2 so let us proceed with this statement which is a plus ib is equal to i raised to log of 1 plus i now taking log on both sides on lhs we get log of a plus ib and on rhs we get log of 1 plus i into log i this rhs is due to log property which says log of a raised to b is equal to b log a now using principal values of log of x plus i y log of 1 plus i can be written as half log 2 plus i pi by 4 and log i can be written as half log 1 plus i pi by 2 you can pause the video and check the calculation now we replace log 1 with its value log 1 is 0 so we are left with half log 2 plus i pi by 4 into i pi by 2 now we multiply these two brackets together so we get i into pi by 2 into 1 by 2 that is pi by 4 log 2 plus i square that is minus 1 into pi square by 8 this is value of log of a plus ib now we will take exponential on both the sides to get value of a plus ib so taking exponential on both sides we get a plus ib is equal to e raised to minus pi square by 8 plus i pi by 4 log 2 this can be treated as e raised to x plus iy which can be written as e raised to x into e raised to iy later e raised to iy can be written as cos y plus i sin y so we get rhs as e raised to minus pi square by 8 into cos of pi by 4 log 2 plus i sin pi by 4 log now we multiply this e raised to minus pi square by 8 into this bracket and then we compare both the sides for their real parts 
on LHS real part is A, whereas on RHS real part is E raised to minus pi square by 8 into cos pi by 4 log 2. So we see value of A is E raised to minus pi square by 8 into cos of pi by 4 log 2 as required. Hence, this is proved. Now let us go ahead with example number 7. We are given that if E raised to I alpha is equal to I raised to beta, then we have to prove alpha by beta is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2. Let us see its solution. Given that E raised to I alpha is equal to I beta, then taking log on both sides, we get log of E raised to I alpha is equal to log of I raised to beta. But since this log is with base E, log of E raised to I alpha can be written as just I alpha. On the other side, using log property, log I raised to beta can be written as beta log I. Now, using general value of log of x plus i y, log i can be written as half log 1 plus i into 2n pi plus pi by 2. But log 1 is 0, so on RHS we are left with beta into i into 2n pi plus pi by 2. This i and this i will get cancelled. So we get alpha is equal to beta into 2n pi plus pi by 2. Taking this beta on the other side, we get alpha by beta is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2 as required. Hence the given statement is proved. Now let us go ahead with example number 8. Here given that if x raise to x raise to x raise to up to infinity is equal to a into cos alpha plus i sin alpha then x is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta where value of log r is equal to cos alpha into log a plus 2n pi plus alpha into sin alpha divided by a. Let us see its solution. Here we consider x is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta which is same as r e raised to i theta. Then we have to prove that log r's value is this. Now we use the given statement to begin which is x raised to x raised to x up to infinity is equal to a cos alpha plus i sin alpha. Using this statement recursively, one can write this as x raised to a cos alpha plus i sin alpha is equal to a cos alpha plus i sin alpha. Note that I have used this value in the power of x. So we get this statement. Now we take log on both sides. So we have a into cos alpha plus i sin alpha into log x is equal to log of a into cos alpha plus i sin alpha. Now we replace this x with its value r e raised to i theta and we replace cos alpha plus i sin alpha using Euler's formula e raised to i alpha. So we get a into cos alpha plus i sin alpha into log of r e raised to i theta is equal to log of a into e raised to i alpha. Now let us simplify this. Log of r e raised to i theta's principal value is log r plus i theta whereas general value of log of a e raised to i alpha can be given by log a plus i into 2n pi plus alpha. Next we take this a on the other side and then we do component wise multiplication of these two brackets which leads to cos alpha into log r minus theta sin alpha plus i into theta cos alpha plus sin alpha into log r on LHS and on RHS we will have log a upon a plus i into 2n pi plus alpha upon a. You can pause the video and check this multiplication. Further, we compare both the sides for their real and imaginary parts. So we get here real part as cos alpha log r minus theta sin alpha is equal to log a upon a and then imaginary part here is theta cos alpha plus sin alpha log r and over here imaginary part is 2n pi plus alpha by a. I label this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. Now we solve these two equations for log r. To do so, we multiply equation 1 by cos alpha and we'll add it with equation number 2 after multiplying it with sin alpha. So we get minus theta sin alpha cos alpha plus theta sin alpha cos alpha. 
which will get cancelled and we will left with cos square alpha into log r plus sin square alpha into log r is equal to cos alpha into log a by a plus sin alpha into 2n pi plus alpha by a. Finally, we take out log r common from these two terms. So we get cos square alpha plus sin square alpha in the bracket, which is nothing but 1. So we left with only log r in LHS. And on RHS, we get cos alpha into log a by a plus sin alpha into 2n pi plus alpha by a. Note that this is the required value of log r, hence the solution. Now let us proceed for example number 9. Here we have to separate into real and imaginary parts of 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i. Let us see its solution. We begin by letting 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i as x plus i y. Then taking log on both sides, we get log of x plus i y is equal to 1 minus i into log of 1 plus i. According to principal value of log of x plus i y, log 1 plus i can be written as half log 2 plus i pi by 4. Then let us do component wise multiplication of these two brackets. So we have half log 2 plus i pi by 4 minus i into 1 by 2 log 2 minus i square that is plus 1 pi by 4. Let us separate real and imaginary parts. Here real terms are half log 2 plus pi by 4 and imaginary terms are pi by 4 minus 1 by 2 log 2. This is value of log of x plus i y. Now we take exponential on both the sides. So on left hand side we will left with x plus i y is equal to on RHS we will have e raised to half log 2 plus pi by 4 plus i pi by 4 minus half log 2. This is like e raised to a plus i b which can be written as e raised to a into e raised to i b. Letter e raised to i b can be written as cos b plus i sin b. So this RHS becomes e raised to half log 2 plus pi by 4 into e raised to i pi by 4 minus half log 2. As I said, e raised to i b can be written as cos b plus i sin b. Also, this e raised to log root 2 plus pi by 4 can be written as e raised to log root 2 into e raised to pi by 4. e raised to log 2 is just root 2 e raised to pi by 4 as it is and this cos b plus i sin b as it is. This is value of x plus i y. But we assumed x plus i y as 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i. So this is nothing but value of 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i. It is clearly seen that uh, this is a real part of 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i and this is imaginary part of 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i. So we have separated real and imaginary parts of 1 plus i raised to 1 minus i. I hope guys you understood all the examples that I have discussed in this video. In my next video, I am going to discuss the concept of partial derivatives. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.